Louis LaFelt built the Adams Hotel and opened it in 1908. He sold it in 1922 to a church. It's changed hands a few times until it got back into the ownership of his granddaughter, who now wants to preserve the hotel and carry on his legacy. This was the, the parlor for the ladies. Catherine Thayer shows one of the upstairs rooms above the saloon. Her grandfather, Ludwig LaFelt, known to friends as Louie, was a sheep rancher who built the hotel with help from Milwaukee Railroad Vice President John Q. Adams. As a girl, Thayer would travel from Rygate to Levina to visit her grandfather and was enamored with the hotel. It just was so, uh, to me, so alluring and mis mysterious. And I was never in it, so I could imagine what it must be like inside. And I never did get in it until uh, 60 years later. The Adams' previous owner, Raymond Berry, left the hotel to Thayer's family in his will after turning it into a living museum. Even if those items aren't necessarily from that time period or the European paintings, it gives you an idea of that opulence and the grandeur and how the rooms might have been set up. Heather Peters is part of the Friends of the Historic Adams that is hosting the open house. Just imagine people hot and tired and dusty getting off the train and just seeing that beautiful white hotel with the grand porch and thinking, oh, I bet there's a cold beverage in there and a hot meal and a bath, you know, and, and having that opulent room to stay in after a long ride on the train. There have even been rumors that the hotel is haunted. A dishwasher in the early 1900s named Manny Dolt died inside, and Barry told Thayer he may have seen Manny. He said Manny Dolt raised up, I don't know if there was a bed here, but Manny Dolt, he was in a white t-shirt, and then he went through the wall into the ladies' parlor. He didn't say anything. Thayer, though, doesn't dwell in the past. She's looking to the future of preserving what she calls a family heirloom that is on the National Register of Historic Places. There is hope for it now that it will become something, it can serve the community. The open house is Friday night from 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock. In Levina, David J, MTN News.